When we buy a house, we need to have it inspected. It's true of any property, whether it is commercial or residential, you need to get it done. I brought our expert in home inspections onto the program today here at Checker Pro, John Boley. Hey, John, how are you? I'm great, Joe. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Okay, I know people are very busy today. And when they want to buy a home, they're trying to do things as quickly as possible. A question has come into the radio program, and I really like this question a lot about home inspections. And that is the following. As a home buyer, do I need to be at the property when you inspect the property, John? What's the answer to that? It's no. You don't have to be, but I think... Um... That would be the wrong way to go because when you're purchasing a home and you're purchasing a home from say a long distance, say you're in, like I just had a client in Miami, mm -hmm. he's purchasing a home here for 4 million new construction. Um, and he didn't show, he said, no, don't need to, you take care of it. You'll be there with my real estate agent and go about take care of it. And it turned into a disaster. Why is that? Well, expectations. What we do um, on both sides. Unfortunately, this market today, the real estate agent involved in this certain tech transaction in Encinitas, California, um, was only worried about selling the home. She wasn't uh, being thoughtful. She's like, he's in Miami. You take care of the inspection but I want you to do all this other stuff. And without having his approval to do those other things, um, it's out of my scope of work. I don't do a water test on the roof. I don't do these other things. And I let him know I don't do that, you know, without written documentation and approval from the developer, blah, blah, blah. Well, he felt he was overpaying and canceled the transaction. And the agent mm -hmm. said it was my fault. Oh, and it's not. so basically she lost her commission. She didn't communicate directly with me and the buyer at the same time and get us on the phone and do the right thing. The house was beautiful. It was nice ocean view. Um, but he was overpaying and he felt he was. And then the caveat came in after the fact. It was in litigation with the next door neighbor, but there again, it's not my fault. So you don't know until you get into the transaction, but I always recommend, and I'm sure we've talked about it in the past, every home buyer show up at your inspection, take, take a lunch break, schedule to meet the inspector at 6 PM, bring him a pizza and some beer or whatever you got to bring him, meet him at the house walk through each component, walk through the home, go in the attic, go in the basement, know what you're buying before you buy it. And, and ask questions. You've got Absolutely. a professional home inspector. They may not know that house, but they know the house, meaning they know the mechanicals, they know the construction, they know engineering enough to know how the house should be built. Was it built properly? The age of the home, if that's in question, maybe anything from termite damage to other pests to mildew and mold and water Absolutely. leaks. You can go down the list yeah. and there's no better person than an experienced home inspector. And you can get them on ashi.org, Internachi. Um, go to my website. If I can't do it, I can find somebody to help you do it. My pleasure. Click a button away and reach out. I'm always where, there to help. I'm not about the money. And with that said, John Bowley, all of John's information is located in the description of this podcast. So you can scroll down and he's a click away. John, as always, thank you so much for helping us out here on the program. You're welcome, Joe. Good talking with you.